Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today I want to show you how to properly cut down a tree and actually have it go down exactly where you want it to be. Well, we won't start to turn on the chainsaw right away and go to, and cut down a tree. I would like to say a few words first because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube of uh, people cutting down trees and, and doing all kinds of forest work and um, especially um, outside of Sweden it is very common to just go out in, in your normal work pants and work clothes to maximum have some ear protection and I know that there has been a lot of development and safety and the chainsaws and everything and, and people used to care about wearing gloves even with chainsaw protection and, and, and there has been a lot of development there um, but uh, I still am a firm believer in proper safety equipment and chainsaw can be a very dangerous thing even for very very experienced um, workers, loggers and I'm not even crazy experienced I've um, been in the forest for the last uh, 10 years or so a little more and I, I learned uh, logging from from old Swedish loggers uh, there are many different techniques, but uh, we will come to that. I just want to share real quick, I, I'm always wearing a helmet, and even these things, they expire after a while, they get bad. Um, ear protecting, for, for noise, you want to have good hearing, even at an older age. And then the front here, which has saved my eyes many times, which is from all the sawdust and everything flying around. This, for visibility in the forest, um, it has a, a first aid pack in the pocket and then the pants this is what I'm most worried about the pants and actually the shoes now I'm wearing both shoes and pants that the chainsaw is not able to cut through and these pants they used to be so uncomfortable they used to be uh, as heavy as you, you were yourself and, and, and you could barely move in them well there has been some tremendous um, development even there you can have chainsaw safe pants and shoes that are very very comfortable keep you warm and and cool when you get when you get hot from working i, I would just really recommend it my point is in, in all of this is that this is a very cheap life insurance you see it's one cut in your knee or in your foot or whatever and your life can be ruined forever this is a very cheap life insurance so i would just recommend it i never go out I'm doing chainsaw work without these things. So now that we've talked about that, I would like to show you some more equipment. Today for cutting down um, the tree, I'm going to use this uh, steel MS360. It's not the biggest, not the smallest, but it's sufficient for the work we're going to do. And I'm going to show you. Um, has worked just great. I will probably post a video at some day of all the different chainsaws we have. My brother is actually the expert in that area and we can talk about the different brands and models that we use and what we use them for. It can be very interesting. Now, every time we go out into the forest to do work, we have this belt, um, this belt on us with um, the tools and equipment that we need. It varies a little bit what we wear on it, but usually it's this, uh, this hook that you can lift or turn a piece of lumber real quick. You have the measuring tape, which is metric, of course. We're in Europe, in Sweden. Um, you just hook it into the tree, and then when you're done, you just pull on it, and it right away goes in. You have these two that you will use for cutting down the tree, and in the back here, um, you can have an ax, which I prefer, or this that you can use to push over smaller trees or hit these ones um, into the tree. Okay, so let's go. I want to show you the way I learned to cut down trees, which I th um, think is very good, very safe, um, has worked for me very well. Okay guys, this is the tree that I've chosen to uh, demonstrate um, the felling of a tree add on. And um, it's not a big tree, it's a birch tree that's standing uh, in the middle of one of our pastures and I just want to get rid of it so the sunlight and will reach the grass better and it won't suck out so much moisture basically we want more growth on the pasture and I've brought this stick 
um, and we're gonna we're gonna put that stake in the ground and I'm gonna attempt to cut down the tree that it exactly hits the stick this is what this method goes out on that you can um, basically hit the stick and hit the place uh, and you want the tree to go to the right place you don't want it to damage other trees in the forest you don't want it to fall backwards uh, where you're standing or anything like that so um, let's do that okay so um, one of the most common mistakes that I have seen people do is that when they cut down a tree they don't start at the bottom that they actually cut down the tree way too high um, maybe not this extreme but you see the tree should be cut down here uh, many people do it higher and, and yes it's more comfortable and everything but if you cut down a hundred trees you know this ends up to being a lot of firewood or a, a lot of lumber and um, that's something that, that I had to learn the hard way too by one of the old loggers really, really telling me um, how to do it properly. So you want to do it as low as possible. Okay, so our first cut is not going to be this one. Our first cut, which might surprise many, will be this cut, okay? And this cut will actually um, control and 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 be be the the standard for where we want the tree to go for everything else all the other cuts they will they will have to um, be cut so they fit this one and you see most people don't use their chainsaw that way but even if you look at the steel for example it has this black line which is made for you to look how you hold the chainsaw like this so you're able to look where you want the tree to go so this cut that's where the tree is gonna go um, you have um, Swedish chainsaw brands Husqvarna um, I believe the, in English you pronounce it Husqvarna or something like that they don't have this black line but their handle is straight and, and these um, chainsaw um, companies they, they design their chainsaw so you can use this line or the handle to make this cut and to see where you fall so this will be our first cut one time I was doing a cut in the States and an elderly fellow um, gladly showed me that that was completely wrong but this is um, the way we learned it this is how I believe the chainsaws are designed so that's gonna be our first cut after that we are gonna do this cut so let me show you Okay, so this is our, these are our two first cuts, you see. Um, if we hold our chainsaw against this now, we can look over the line where we want it to go. And I've, I'm trying to hit that stick that we put in the ground earlier. So the next cut we're gonna do is in here and out of the tree. Gonna cut it around. Now the thickness of this, we wanna be, uh, wanna have that be about an inch not much thicker and that doesn't matter how big the tree is really um, because the width the width is where the strength will be okay so now we're gonna do this cut around the tree um, I will try to hurry up because the battery on my camera is not doing so well in this cold weather it's quite cold actually and windy so um, 
let me show you the way um, that I do it. Okay, so I want to show you guys actually that something wrong here as you can see this part was still standing which was supposed to cut but here you're able to see that this an inch wide it's like when a door opens you see falls open that what keeps the tree from falling to the left or falling to the right and now let's see how we did it so the the tree is a little bit to the left it rolled over a little bit as it fell. Let's see, if we hit our stick, if we were able to reach the goal. There's one of our cows. I bet she's glad she wasn't standing there. Oh, look at that. There's the stick we put on the ground. And, yep, I would say that's quite accurate. I actually put it too far out so the tree couldn't have hit it. But that is accurate. I see you maybe noticed but the chainsaw the, the the chain it was horribly dull I thought my brother had sharpened it but I guess not so we got to sharpen that thing and I had to work hard to keep that thing in place this should have gone twice as fast a little embarrassing but um, that wasn't the point uh -huh. 